Hi guys. Welcome back. This is the second video of Azure Site Recovery. Today we are going to create a job a replication job and we are going to re replicate it to Azure. Okay. Let's start. We'll go to the vault first. Now we can see the the last time on the last video we have set up uh, the configuration server um, and we can see that we send a server and everything. So now start for configuring the job okay we'll go to the replication items replicated items there click on replicate first we need to configure set up the source from where we are going to replicate the servers okay so it is on premises and uh, are you go are you uh, we are not performing migration here so I'm not I'm selecting no if you are doing migration you can simply select yes okay and source location will be the configuration server and the machine type we have two options actually physical machines and virtual machine in our in our situation our, our our case it is virtual machine so I'm selecting it and um, the vCenter servers we have only one vCenter server so I am selecting it and uh, we need to choose the process server as well and process server role we are already configured in the same server srcs01 it's actually it's by default it is installing it if we have a bigger uh, number of mesh virtual machine which we are going which we need to uh, replicate to assure then we, we can scale it out uh, we can install on multiple servers this rule can be scaled out uh, and it can be installed on different servers in our case we are installing on the same uh, server so I'm, I'm just selecting it click ok so the target location I'm going to, uh, in our case it's a subscription we need to choose first and then uh, resource this is uh, which deployment model we are going to use it so this is in our case it's resource manager okay so we can we need to configure the post uh, you know the network configuration as well so we have two options we can configure it later but in our, uh, I'm going to do it now so since it's a single watch uh, vnet so that's why it's automatically get selected otherwise we can simply click here and we can selected all the vnet will be listed here and you can see the subnet in our case we have only one subnet so it is showing only one subnet otherwise it will list it here okay yeah the virtual machine yeah currently I'm going to replicate only one virtual machine set a move so I'm selecting it okay it's one virtual machine click OK uh, need to choose which what type of HDD uh, hard disk we need we have three options standard HDD premium HDD SSD standard SSD um, uh, here I am selecting standard HDD so you can choose uh, the cache cache storage account and the account which we are going to use uh, for installing the recovery agent on that machine and it should have a uh, installation permission or local admin rights on that particular server the the server this app server uh, which we are going to replicate so I am selecting that and I am here I am choosing all the disks since we have uh, only one disk 
uh, C drive that's why we are not able to choose the disk if it's multiple disk we can choose whatever disk we need we can simply select the disk and we can uh, we can add it to the replication okay and you can choose the replication policy we have uh, which we have created in the uh, you know uh, side recovery preparation okay mm, now it's done then enable replication so it started you can see here so there's a job enable replication if you click on that job you will get the details so it is uh, it has five steps actually the first uh, step will be the prerequisites check for enabling protection that is su successful it's already and now the next step will be installing the mobility service and preparing the target so the agent will be installed on that server the mobility agent will be installed on that server so if you go to that you can take that machine here the virtual machine now nothing is installed we'll wait uh, it will install our agent here in this machine so I'm going to pause the video we'll come back after installing the agent Uh, the job is configured successfully so here you can see the okay the agent is installed Azure VM agent and uh, recovery agent it's installed so now it is started the replication let's see go to the replicated items okay there is uh, it's started the replication it's now the background it's happening the replic it is uh, the duplication is happening and here uh, if you click on the virtual machines you can go to the computer and uh, network here once uh, it will take some time to get that uh, that uh, options to become so once it's came we can uh, you can uh, customize the size of the VM and the network thing here network uh, subnet anything you want to change it you can do it here so okay so the replication will take some time okay so uh, I'm going to stop this video now uh, we can see in the next video we can see the failover this failover and and the actual failover as well thank you for watching have a nice day uh, please subscribe to my channel for future videos thank you thank you very much